Welcome back, everybody. It is a seafood delicacy lots of y'all enjoy, but opening up or shucking an oyster can be a challenge. Luckily, you can learn how to shuck at Smack Shack in the North Loop of Minneapolis, which actually offers shucking classes. Kendall decided to try this out. Today, I'm learning how to shuck oysters. So as far oh as oysters gosh. go, they have two shells on them. You have the lid on the top, and okay. then the cup okay. on the bottom holds the oyster itself and all the liquor, which is the ocean water or river water that the, the oyster liquor? is grown in. It's called There's the liquor. liquor in oysters? There is in these. Um, oh, so wow. that holds all the flavor kind of of the mineral content and the aquaculture that these oysters were grown in, okay. which kind of gives them their distinctive flavor. So they get their flavor from their liquor. Can I just ask you why this one looks kind of like, um, what's that thing, Br Brussels sprouts? <laughs> I guess I could see that. Yeah, it's got those concentric circles the way Brussels sprouts would have the leaves. And those are actually almost like tree rings. So that's about a three or four year old oyster, and you can kind of see each of those rings as the cold seasons come and go. They kind of form those tough rings Stop around them. It. Oh, that's cool. There's East and West Coast oysters, and they're all different based Absolutely. on where they're from, and their liquor makes them how they are. Yeah, that, that gives them their flavor profile essentially. All the minerals in the water and how they're farmed all contribute to having their own distinctive flavors for each location. Okay, so. One is like wine, beer, vodka. Absolutely. Got it. And I've been told that I get to, I was excited to wear these gloves, and I've been told so I don't stab myself. It's for your in own the protection. Hand. It's for my own protection. Uh, these are our oyster knives. They are sharp at the point, so don't stab yourself in the hand or any Can other I body touch part. It? Absolutely. Oh, okay, these are so not as sharp as I thought. It's sharp when it goes through your hand. Oh. So to be able to open this up, we're going to take a towel and we're going to roll it up like this. There's a sweet spot right inside that little hinge right there. Okay. Where the tip of the oyster knife is going to fit right inside there. And if it finds that sweet spot right, a little bit of downward pressure. I can it see pop the right open. sharp things. The sharp things, that's why you wear the gloves. Once it's in, you just kind of slide it towards you, scrape across the top of that lid with a knife. The adductor muscle is still holding the oyster to the bottom shell, to the cut. Okay. So you want to free that up by just taking that curve out of your knife. Yeah. Popping it out just like that. Okay. And see all that delicious liquor in there? Yeah, the liquor. It's ready to eat. <laughs> it's ready to be drank, Cheers. you mean? Cheers. That's it? Literally, That's it. I can eat this right now? Literally. You need to tell me twice. I love oysters. Delicious. It's not moving. Very good. And then I would hold it more like this as opposed oh. to a dagger. Not trying to kill anybody, <laughs> just trying to open an oyster. <laughs> so you're going to take the tip of that. <laughs> Sure, we have another one that's on. there it is. And take okay. the tip of it right into that sweet spot. I'm not doing a very good job so far. Just Why am I not doing the it? The tip needs right. to get a little bit more in. You open this one. I cracked the top. What do I do now? Um, hey Eric, can we edit me opening this? <laughs> there you go, perfect. It's ready to eat. I like it with a little bit of lemon, and then I like to move on to the mini nat, and then from the other flavors. I like horseradish. Our horseradish like? is fantastic. You can't go wrong with it. Do the chefs get to eat all the oysters all the time? All the time. I'm great at this job. <laughs> I love oysters. So the queen much. of oysters, Kendall, joins oh. me now. Yeah. <laughs> It's um, hard. It's hard. It is really hard. So I ended up getting one of them done, but I, because we were shooting other things, and I was like, give me another one. I'm going to get this done. Yeah. So I got one, but man, oh man, how you really take a sh like an oyster shucking class is just have the guy do it all for you because. And it's we and we should tell people it's not just for TV. These classes right. are real, and people yes. can take the classes. Yeah, they've um so they've booked all of them through Christmas, at least at the point that I had talked to them then. Yeah. But if you go on the Smack Shop website, you can see that they have more of them. I think through January or February they open them back up. But it's fun. You get wine pairings with it. Uh, and honestly, like they were such a hoot, and the Smack they're, Shack is so fun. It's a great crew, and it's the Smack Shack in the North Loop, because there are two other ones. So oh, yeah. it's the North Loop mm -hmm. uh, Smack Shack. You can find them on Instagram. And I will tell you, I, I started, I learned to appreciate what they do. There's a restaurant in Orlando mm -hmm. called The Boathouse, and there's a guy there that's there a lot. I think he's their master oyster <laughs> guy. And <laughs> the he master does, Kendall, oyster guy. <laughs> I could just watch him. He does it with such speed. Because the volume that he goes through every night, I mean, it's a restaurant at Walt Disney World. Imagine the right. volume. He does it so quickly. And I asked him, I said, do you ever cut yourself? And he's like, I have never cut myself ever. 
Really? Yeah. Did he could you, be lying, he, but I'm just saying I, I believed him, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're going to read a story about how he, like, cut his hand off. Yeah, I hope not, because he's a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> if you have an idea... If you have an idea for a job you want to see Kendall try, we've made it very easy. Send us a message on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. It's just Jason Show TV on all three. If you have a good, if there's a, maybe you have a wacky job that you think Kendall would be really funny trying to do, mm -hmm. let us know. And who knows, we could be stopping by and seeing you soon. I've done all the things. Yeah. All the things. But I want to do more. We want to do more. <laughs>